Today, I'll talk about component continuity equation of a CSTR. Now, here is the system description. Consider a tank of perfectly mixed liquid and a chemical reaction takes place in that liquid in the tank. So, the system is now CSTR and component A reacts irreversibly at a specific reaction rate K to form product and component B. So, A to B uh, and K is the reaction rate constant. Now, let CAG to be the concentration of the component A in the flowing feed stream and CA be the concentration of in the reactor and that is coming out from the CSTR. Assume here the first order reaction is first order uh, assume a first order reaction the rate uh, consumption of A per unit volume is proportional to it instantaneous concentration in the tank. Now if you see this uh, figure so here that um, the reactant is coming with a flow rate fa0 so that is the volumetric flow rate and rho0 is the density of this fluid and ca0 is the concentration of component a at the inlet and cb0 is the concentration of component b at the inlet and inside the reactor the v is the volume density uh, inside the liquid hold up is rho and that uh, in concentration in that liquid uh, com concentration of a of the liquid is ca uh, component uh, component b concentration is here cb and it is the area of the tank and h is the liquid hold up and that uh, after re some reaction is happening in that CSTR and that liquid is coming out with velocity with volumetric flow rate f density rho and concentration of component a is ca and concentration of component B is CV. Now uh, we have to do that component A balance, uh, com component continuity balance. So for component A balance equation is here, time rate of change of moles of component A inside the system is equal to flow of moles of A component into, into the system and minus flow of moles of a component out of the system plus rate of formation of moles of a component from chemical reaction. Now here if you see uh, the reaction is A to B first order reaction. Now A is actually uh, consumed and that will produce B. Now here when we, uh, we talk about the rate of formation of mole A means we have to change the sign negative. Negative means the consumption. Now so we have to uh, uh, find out uh, that each term one by one so like time rate of change of a so that will be d v c a by dt so now v is the volume c a is the mole per volume so that the mole rate of change of mole so d v c a by dt so v is volume volume and c a is mole per volume now v into ca is nothing but mole so that do by do t of this means mole per time so time rate of change of a is do d by dt vca and flow of a into the system so that fa0 into ca0 fa0 is the volumetric flow rate and ca0 is the concentration of a at the inlet and flow of A out of the system so that is F into CA again F is the volumetric flow rate and CA is the concentration uh, of component A at the outlet and the rate of formation A from the reaction so that is V into minus RA okay so V into minus RA so RA is actually KCA <coughs> so here that minus sign is there because of consumption so minus V K C A so that is the rate of formation means actually rate of consumption of a form the reaction so minus sign is here so because of consumption now if i plug all this equation so we'll get so the rate uh, d v c a by d t is equal to f a 0 c a 0 minus f c a minus v k c a so this is the component a valence equation so this is the component continuity equation for a with units of mole of a per unit time the left hand side is the dynamic term and the first two term on the right hand side are the convective term and last term is the generation term actually it is not a generation term it is a con uh, it is consumption term we can say that is negative generation so that is consumption 
now component b continuity equation the similar way we can develop so that is d v c v by d t f 0 c v 0 minus f c v now here actual the generation is happened uh, so that is the rate of uh, the reaction rate so v k c a so actually b is producing uh, here so that's why it will be plus v k c a so minus r a is equal to you know r b is equal to that k c a so now here we have to take the plus sign okay here we have to take the minus sign so plus sign before the generation term since the reaction produces b so we got that two component equation because uh, that reaction is a to b so if it is not 100 percent conversion so some uh, some small portion of reactant a will be there and product will product b will also be there so if we do the uh, that mole balance we'll get two equation so this is the component a balance equation and this is component b balance equation or component b continuity equation so now so another uh, equation we will get that is the called total continuity equation so how do we get the total continuity equation so alternatively the total continuity equation can be used since ca and cv and rho are uniquely related by maca maca so is plus mbcv is equal to rho so where ma and mb are the molecular weights of the component a and b respectively so this is another equation so that is actually called total continuity equation so maca plus mbcv is equal to rho so that's it thank you